Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Fahad Mirza. In this video, I am going to talk about a tool which I believe is quite important when it comes to making sure that you are controlling the cost of API based models. Now, I believe that there are two fields which are still very much being neglected when it comes to AI. One is the cost control and second one is the security. I don't see many products, many papers and much focus on cost reduction and cost optimization or FinOps as they call it these days around AI. We know that not only hosting and running models locally is an expensive affair, not to even just talk about the fine tuning and training, but more importantly, the thing which most of the companies and people are using the API based models, it is quite expensive. And this tool, Context.js and few other tools try to give you a better picture around how you can control that one aspect of that cost. I am yet to see, by the way, a holistic, a full-blown tool which could give you a 360 degree view of your cost and its optimization avenues when it comes to AI. So maybe another startup idea there. Anyway, so in this video, we are going to install this context JS locally, and then we will see how it works. Before I get started, let's have a quick look what exactly is meant by a context window or context. In transformer based models, the context window refers to the number of input tokens that the model can process simultaneously or at the same time to capture long range dependencies and relationships. Context window tokens are individual unit of input data such as words, characters or pixels that are processed within this window. For example, a model with a context window of 512 tokens can process 512 words or characters at the same time or at once. And that allows it to capture complex patterns and relationships within that input data. So that is the whole idea behind it. Now. What this tool does is that, for example, let's suppose that you have a huge code base. Um, is it maybe it is stored in your Bitbucket repo or your GitHub repo and you have converted it or exported it to PDF or text files because you want it to give to your RAG pipeline or any API based model to analyze it. Now, if you start feeding the whole PDF file and text files into the token, that is going to burn up a lot of context window tokens for you and that is where it is going to cost you a lot and that is where this tool context.js tries to help out. So what this does is it tries to give you a 75% token reduction in context window usage. Now that is a very subjective uh, claim by them as you can see on their github repo which I will also drop the link in video's description. But it could be uh, better because what it is doing it, it uh, boosts precision. So what it does is it maps the relationship and dependencies for clear analysis. It focuses LLMs on key code insights. It reveals architecture for smaller insights. Plus also it gives the large language models detailed metadata for better suggestions. And that is a key point here. It also provides structured context for better LLM responses plus helps LLMs explain and document code easily. So and normally it right now as I can see it only works with a JavaScript and TypeScript code basis. Now this context just generates comprehensive knowledge graphs that help LLM navigate and comprehend your code structure with ease. So for as far as um, Output format is concerned, um, concerned, what it does is it gives you a JSON knowledge graph, which you can then feed into maybe chat GPT or any other model to gain detail um, uh, walkthrough. So instead of feeding the whole code base, you just give the JSON file to your uh, API based model to analyze your code base. And that is how they reduce the context window. So pretty nifty, I would say. So let's see. Uh, how it works. Let me try to get it installed for you locally and then we will go from there. Before I show you the installation, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content 
Agent QL works on any page. It is, it is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay. Let me take you to my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. Let's create a virtual environment to keep everything separate. And now let's git clone the repo. And we are also entering into that repo. It is quite small. It's not that big. Let's also install matplotlib so that we would see if we could show you the visualization of that knowledge graph which it is going to generate. And so that shouldn't take too long now. And that is all done. Let's clear the screen. Now let me show you how you can run it. So you just run this command, which is a Python script context JS. It asks you the path to your local code base where your Java JavaScript files are. So in my local directory, I have two repos. One is a very simple myjs code, which has in, uh, this simple JS file. So it just works on JavaScript or Java at the moment, as I mentioned earlier. And then there is another one where I have a lot of files for Java. And I just git clone that repo. So first I'm just going to give it the path to my JS code here. So I'm just going to put the whole path here. Let me run this. There you go. So it has found one file and now it is asking me, do I want to visualize it? Let's say yes. There you go. So we have just one main.js. Now let's cancel it and then let's try out maybe um, a big project as I shown you earlier for this I'm just going to give it another path to JavaScript exercises so how quick that is it has already gone through 65 files and 10 functions and 7 dependencies so let's visualize it just type yes there you go how fast is that really really good stuff so this is the whole visualization of the code base or the repo and then with this knowledge graph it has also shown that okay this one depends on this this depends on this so this is bit um you know the whole stuff it's a big project by the way and then on the right hand side there is some convention it is showing in the color coding that which ones are the classes functions and all that stuff now uh, the advantage is that instead of just throwing all your 65 files with all the dependencies and the whole pdfs uh, feeding it to the models you can simply just give this to any vision model and then the model would have the whole idea about your code base and then when you will ask the question about it with the maybe you just want to art, ask a question about this file now once you give only this file plus your prompt the model would already have the idea about all the context about all the dependencies and all that stuff and then it can answer you more properly if it asks maybe it will ask one or two more files that's it so instead of feeding it the whole repo you are saving on context in return you are not only saving on your tokens but also maybe it will reduce the latency and it would avoid any throttling so that's the advantage of it really good stuff uh, that is what i was saying that we would really need some more holistic comprehensive tooling around it but really good effort so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching